us. I think all of us, including the fans, want to win a damn football game. Okay? Now, I know we've got a lot of other things to think about. Who's coaching? Who's playing? Who's compared to another player someplace else? How about let's win some ball games, folks? We can take that other stuff. I'm, I'm not known as a guy who uh, uh, gets uh, hand cramps when I'm writing checks. But I want to win some football hey! games. Let me just... What's up with you guys? It is your boy, West Coast. So, yo, you just saw the video, right? So, when I see that video, you know what I think of? It sounds like to me that Jerry Jones is pissed and he's fed up in his old age. And I'm going to tell you this. He wants to win some damn football games. You know what I'm saying? So, what does this mean with Jerry Jones? Does that mean that we're finally all in now that you're pissed off week 12? I absolutely love it. I've been like that since week one. But it only took you to week 12. But I'm going to tell you something else that I also learned in that video. Something I also learned in that video is this. The first thing that came out of his mouth was the fans. That lets me know this, that your voice does matter. I know me and my boy Boss Cowboy always say that, and that's actually his slogan. But I'm going to be honest with you. When you see, when you hear the organization owner, Jerry Jones, say, and the fans, that lets me know that he got some burner accounts somewhere, and he listening to the stuff that the fans are putting out. He's listening to the stuff that the fans are talking about. And guess what? He's hearing us. Why? Because he's fed up. Also, something else that kind of stuck out about that very short interview is this. Jerry Jones, you say that you don't want to talk about, you know, contracts and who's getting paid this and who's doing doing that and who's getting compared to other players because, you know, obviously you can see that that affects football games. So my thing is this, Jerry Jones, why you didn't feel like that in the offseason? Like, it's funny to me how you were all down with letting Zeke hold out and you were all down with not having people in training camps because you wanted to get a better price with people on, on, on different players. And now that you're seeing the fruit of that throughout the season, now you want to be pissed off. Like, no, Jerry, guess what? All that stuff that you don't want to talk about, all that stuff plays a part in the way the Dallas Cowboys are playing. You have a quarterback who's literally scared to run the ball. You want to know why I think he's literally scared to run the ball? And I'm about to do a video on it right now. Um, the reason why I think he's scared to ball, run the ball is because he ain't got paid. Why is that going to take a chance of, of getting a big hit, getting injured, and he, the organization that he plays for hasn't even paid him? You don't think that affects the way he plays and the way he runs games on them third and ones with his run, passing the ball on three consecutive third and two, third and one? Come on now. Like, that stuff, Jerry Jones, um, I'm sorry, but guess what? That affects that affects the way things work around here. Just like if you go to a restaurant and and the and the waitresses are all if you you know the manager of the of the restaurant forgot to pay all the waitresses, I'm pretty sure your customer service is not going to be at its 100% peak performance. Why? Because money tends to affect performance. That's just how it works. So my thing is this, Jerry Jones, if you want to assure all that stuff is taken care of, instead of brushing it under the rug, because it's easy for a billionaire to brush millions under the rug, because you're a billionaire. But to a guy that's trying to get into that range, into that millionaire status, guess what? That's pretty damn important. And you just can't mush that under the rug. So my urge to you, Jerry Jones, is instead of getting fed up and pushing it under the rug, fed up, get fed up and fix it. Fix the problem. Pay your quarterback. Take care of the guys that need to be taken care of. And let's go really all in. Because what, right now what you're really saying is, I need to see more. Dak Prescott after three years, I need to see more. Ezekiel Elliott after leading the league and rushing, I still need to see more. Dak, uh, Demarcus Lawrence after getting two consecutive years of, of, of 10 plus sack, I still need to see more. Bro, what are you talking about? When you go all in, you go all in. I ain't never heard of someone saying they're going all in by not paying someone or not taking care of someone. In my life, when someone says they're going all in and they're really trying to get things done, they really want to win, they pay people because happy players play better. Duh. Never look down because the star's up. Peace. Every time.